A massive explosion ripped across the port of Beirut on 4th of August. The report says more than 150 people died till now. Some of them were seafarers. 5,000 wounded and several missing. More than 300,000 people lose their homes. The condition of the city is beyond description. France's President Emmanuel Macron and other global leaders are that we must pledge aid to the people who are in pain. But at the same time, Lebanese government must reform their current policies. As we are saying, the government is not really fulfilling their duty to the wounded and the homeless people, not a police or army man has seen in the area. Engineer and director Susan Smith and Russell Pugley from America investigated the event and came up with some explanation. The orange cloud of smoke was firstly reported as firework workshop explosion. But the range of the explosion, lightning, smoke, and the detonation confirmed that the explosion was caused of some explosive material. The investigation revealed that there were a massive stash of ammonium nitrate. About 1,750 metric tons of them. Ammonium nitrate is used as a composite fertilizer. It can also be very explosive when it catches fire. In 2013, a Georgian ship named Rosas was headed to Mozambique with this cargo. The ship stopped in the boiler for additional freight but the ship left Lebanon. In 2015, the Port Authority transferred the cargo to a warehouse. For seven long years, the explosive were in the port in Lebanon. In Lebanon, the resale of the cargo did not happen, and the authority refused to allow the four of seafarers of the ship without a replacement. It is still unknown the source of fire as the explosion devastated the area. But we can say the main reason for the event is the negligence and corruption of the Lebanese government. There happened a massive protest against the corruption of the authority. But at the end, the problem were not solved and caused a big trauma in the lives of Lebanese people.